What has been the hardest and most challenging lesson for you to learn on your farm and in your life? I don't know about for you, but for me, the hardest and most challenging lesson has been learning that I cannot do it all myself. And we know this, and I know this intellectually, but it's another thing to actually put actions into place to show that you know it and know that you know it, that you can't do it all yourself. Because sometimes we just don't get the help we need and we consciously and sometimes subconsciously try to do too much on our own. And as a result, we start having problems. And yes, I wish that I could multiply myself. I wish there was multiple me's going around to help out here on the farm. <laughs> hey Mike. But the sad truth is, even though I would like to multiply myself, there's only one of me. See you later. Yeah! But thankfully, we have a team here at Big Pond Farm that helps me get the job done. And this reminds me of a time not too long ago when we were introducing the ducklings to our older ducks. And we started off the job, Michael was right along my side helping me out. We unloaded the Premier One fencing. Unboxed it. Unpacked it. And then we unrolled the fencing. Can you grab that one? Yep, we'll pull this way. There we go. We're pulling it. Doing a good job. You're doing a good job, Micah. Right here, put it down. Good job. Micah has been learning all kind of tasks here on the farm. It's neat to see him growing and learning how to do things. He's been learning how to shovel. I also walk around all over the place with a notebook here. It helps me write down all my ideas, whether it be for the farm, for the vlog, just in life, life lessons in general. And Micah even brought me my notebook that day. Next, we set up the fencing. And then after that, the rest of the team came to join us. So now joining us is Sayla, Ben, Mommy and Josiah. Mike is still here with me. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and put the ducklings in and introduce them to the adults right here. <laughs>
It is so neat to think about how these ducklings, as tiny ducklings that they were before when we first got them, and then how they've matured and grown, and now we have released them to be with the adults, the older ducks, and to now see them all just grazing on new grass together. It's just beautiful. It's one of those really neat experiences that you get to have here on the farm, just being able to see the animals express their characteristics that they are designed and created with. It's just pretty, pretty cool. I am so thankful to have my family work together as a team. Yes, we're all growing in individual areas and we're growing as a team, but I am thankful that we have each other. I can't do it all by myself and I am done with trying to do it all myself. It won't happen and it reminds me of an episode that I saw on the show Homestead Rescue where on that homestead the dad was trying to do it all himself and he wouldn't let others get involved and their homestead was going downhill fast. But to turn it around they had to work together as a team. And that's what I aspire to do here at Big Pond Farm. It's not all about me, it's not all about the fit farmer, it's not all about Mike Dixon. It's about the team and what's best for everyone. So I'm very thankful for my team. As you saw, we worked together on that project. Micah helped out and as well as the others. And later that day, Lacey did some more work out in the garden. She sowed seeds in our newly turned over garden bed. But that's not all she does. She also helps with the editing side of the vlog, so all the things that you see put together in this video, that was Lacey. But she does so many other things here on the farm. She makes sure that we have meals on a regular basis, and she just helps me out of whatever areas that I need it. She's definitely my right-hand woman, and she does a very great job in helping us out. And Sayla and Josiah, it's neat to see how they have grown, and they're learning to do different tasks together. They work together, and they also help us out in various ways on the farm. It's great to see them grow and learning these new abilities and just being helping hands. But sometimes they get a little off track. That's okay. You know you're not supposed to be doing that. Daddy won't like that. And Ben, even though he's not in our family, it has been so neat to have him here on the farm. Him learning these new experiences of being on a farm and he's been he has an excellent work ethic and he's just been right alongside on the days that we have him here on the farm it's very we appreciate him very much don't know how long he'll be with us but at least for this season this farm year season he's been an excellent help and we're very thankful to have him right now Ben and his family are in the process of purchasing land to start a homestead of their own so those of you who are out there, you're running homesteads, you're running farms, don't try to do it all yourself. Put, let others help you out. Put systems in place where others can help you out. And whether it's subconsciously or consciously, get it out of your head that you're trying to do it all yourself. I don't want to see those of you out there, I don't want to see you go down the road that I've had to go down and others have as well of, of burning yourself out and going into adrenal fatigue and having any kind of other health issues that you can experience from trying to do too much, don't do it. Take my advice. If you haven't experienced any of these problems yet, do it now so you don't. And if you are experiencing some of these things, go ahead. Turn your life around. Try to make some changes right now, just like me. So, speaking of getting help, I want all of our viewers out there who are open and willing to do this, I want you to help us out with our vlog. How can you help? We want to begin having something like our buddies at Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. They do the Homestead Homies. We want to do something similar. We want to do something where we showcase on our videos 
those of you out there who are growing your own food, who are living healthy lifestyles, we want to share you what you are doing with others on our blog. So we don't have an exact name for this yet, like Homestead Homies, because that is very creative and very crafty. Great job, Doug and Stacy. But we want to do something similar. We uh, definitely open to some, to some ideas that you all have. We're considering something like Quack Pack, the Quack Pack, and Farm Folk, or I don't know. Let us know what you think. These are just some of the ideas that we're rolling around in our heads. But we want you all to be sending us videos and pictures and we'll coordinate that let us know if you're interested but that's it for now again the limited there are limited seats for the homesteading life conference so make sure you get them because they are going fast thanks for joining us we'll see you next time thanks for watching feel free to leave a comment below even if it's just to say hey also make sure you don't miss any of our new videos so subscribe and sign up to receive notifications each time we release a new video also you may want to check out these videos right here and also check us out on instagram facebook and twitter see you next time